We're here with the second segment of Captain's Corner with Brock Matheson. Uh, last week, Brock was away in Alaska with the team, so wasn't able to do it, but he's back today. So let's start off, Brock. Um, just tell us about the, uh, the weekend in Alaska. Yeah, it was uh, quite an experience. Obviously, a lot of traveling uh, that we did, but... Uh, you know, first game we, we lost 2-1, close close game against Fairbanks, but uh, the next night we were able to come back and, uh, and get a win. So we're happy with the split, and uh, hopefully the, uh, having got through that, you know, early in the season, all the rest of the road trips will seem like a breeze compared to that one. So, I mean, overall, like, how do you think you guys played? I thought we played pretty good, you know, if you look at the circumstances. I think we we're, were a little bit jet-lagged, and... Our first game was at uh, at eight oh five their time, which is twelve oh five here. So by the time you're going out for the third period, you know it's it's one thirty two a.m. in the morning. So I, I think given the circumstances, you know we have to be pretty happy with with how the trip went. So, um, who do you think was the most impressive on the trip? Most impressive player? Um, we had a lot of guys step up. I mean, I mean Welsh Welsh is playing great hockey right now. His whole line's been great. Uh, Prezi had a great uh, had a great weekend. A um, couple, couple of the D-men had really good weekends. A lot of guys are stepping up right now, and it's good to see, especially a lot of our younger guys too. You know, that come from juniors or wherever they came from, you, you wouldn't be able to tell they're playing like like veterans right now. So, did you have a favorite part of the trip? Uh, we uh, on uh, on Thursday when we got there, we actually went to the hot springs. That was pretty fun as a as a team. So that was nice to kind of get in, get away from the rink for a little while, and uh, and see a little bit of Alaska and, and what it's all about. Did you guys get to see Jason Schaefer at all? He's from Alaska, right? No, yeah, no, he, uh, yeah, he's from Eagle Creek. I think he's from around, which is around Fairbanks. I think um, he, uh, he's actually in Schenectady right now. Oh, uh, really? Working, yeah. So, so he's, he, he was at our actually opening weekend. So, uh, but he, he was, he was upset. He, he wished he came a year later just so he could uh, get the chance to go to his home hometown there. I bet. So you think it's a travel this like a ton and. So how do you think you guys are going to feel coming into this weekend's games? Do you think it's going to be a little let down and be a little, a little lagging? or? Uh, I think actually given the, the way our practice has gone the past couple of days that we're going to be, we're going to be ready to go and, and uh, we're poised for a big weekend. You know, the, the two opponents that we have, you know, we know they're, they're very good opponents. Obviously Niagara has been great, a great program for a number of years and RIT the season they had last year speaks for, speaks for itself. You know, so we're going to have our hands full, but uh, I really feel like, you know, we've, we've come a long way as a team so far, and we're going to be ready to go this weekend. Um, what do you have to say about the uh, the teams coming up with Niagara and RIT? I mean, uh, are there any players you guys are looking out scouting? Uh, yeah, there's always, like, scouting reports that Coach uh, gives us before the before the weekend and before the games. So, you know, we, we try and key on the, their top scorers or, you know, their uh, certain plays or line combinations that they have. Um, but, you know... It, we definitely know that it's going to be two tough games this weekend. Uh, like I said before, Niagara and RIT, they're both great teams. Uh, so we're anticipating a battle and uh, looking forward to it. And so how have the fans been so far? You had that one home weekend, but uh, how have they been doing so far? Good. They've been, they were pretty good the first weekend there. It's nice to see uh, Will Friedman come back and, uh, and show his support. Um, but much, yeah, it's you know the more people out there, the better. Um, and uh, to to fans who have been coming out religiously, I thank you for that, for all the support um, that you've given so far, and I encourage uh, everyone else to get out and see the games this weekend and, and uh, coming forward. Well, thanks, Brock. Well, I guess you go to practice, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thanks a lot.